Now, in solving equations with fractions, there are some things you should be concerned about, but there are very easy ways to manipulate these problems to make them super easy. One of the things I make my students do is I always draw a green line down the equal sign. This helps guide our point of equality. What happens is we're going to be using what's called the multiplication property of equality in order to solve this problem. Now, the first thing you've got to be able to do is get rid of these parentheses. So you're going to take this 5, and you're going to distribute it and multiply it by the x and the numerator, considering that they're both numerators. Even though this doesn't look like a fraction, if you put it under 1, it could become 1. After you do that, your equation is going to look like this. Negative 1 half x plus 2 equals 5x plus 5 over 5. Now the nice thing about this part right here is that 5 over 5 turns into 1. There's nothing wrong with you converting fractions into whole numbers if you want. Just make sure you're using your properties correctly. Now, it's this negative one-half. Now, there is arithmetic ways of doing this. There are old-school methods that you learned in fourth grade. The suggestion I'm going to give to you t is to multiply both sides of the equation by the number 2. Now, I get this number 2 by the denominator. The denominator guides what you're multiplying every single term by. Since we only had one denominator in the problem, we didn't have to work too hard. This becomes negative 2 over 2x plus 4, which equals 10x plus 2. This negative 2 over 2 turns into a negative x plus 4 equals 10x plus 2. And from this point, we can actually just solve the problem like we would solve a normal linear equation we got to get rid of one of the variables, either from the left side or the right side. So we're going to add x to both sides of the equation. You're then going to have 4 equals 11x plus 2. From there, we're going to use the inverse of positive 2, which is negative 2. So we're going to subtract 2 to both sides of the equation. 2 equals 11x. And last but not least, we'll divide every single thing by 11. The reason for that is because 11 times x, in order to get x by itself, we have to divide. x equals 2 over 11. It's that easy and it's that beautiful.